Well, let's transition over to your weather just a little bit, taking a lot look at our first alert radar this morning. Still seeing some cooler temperatures north of I-16, mid to upper 30s there. Pretty much looking at mid to lower 40s around the rest of the area. So when you're planning out your coffee this morning, it's going to be dealer's choice because this morning still going to stay in those 30s and 40s. But as we head into the afternoon, depending on what time you're getting up and starting your day, Upper 60s later on to lower 70s. Warm temperatures, partly sunny skies, only partly because of this morning. Going to see lots of sunshine later on today. And this is going to be all across the area. As you can see, 70s to upper 60s expected sunny skies. It's going to be a classic blue sky day out there. And then as we head into this evening, those temperatures going to be dropping into the mid to lower 50s through about 11, upper 40s as we get past midnight. As we head into your Saturday, still going to be looking at 63 degrees as our high. Still going to be looking at 60s during the afternoon. No problems for anything you got going on on Saturday because we've got this front coming in. It's going to stall out over us, so lots of sunny to partly sunny conditions, but we're tracking our next system. It's going to be working its way over from Texas, bringing in lots of scattered rain, also lots of heavy winds, and it's going to be lingering with us through the start of next week. Right now, what I'm looking at from Sunday into Monday, lower severe chance, but gusty winds, 30 to 40 miles per hour area wide, and isolated storm chances is what we're looking at. Still, some areas, especially close to the beaches, could see isolated gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. The good news is tornadic thro threat is looking pretty low and then we're still going to be looking at heavy rainfall to be our highest threat. This will be from 4 p.m. through midnight as we go into your Sunday. This is showing you what we're looking at as we go into Sunday and it's just going to be these scattered storms that come in as we head into the evening on into the overnight and then into your Monday and some of them could still linger around a little bit into Tuesday. Temperatures will cool down after that though. We'll be cooling down into the upper 50s and then rebound back into the mid to lower 60s as we head into the second half of next week, but throughout this time still going to be looking at our highest rain chances to be in the southern half of our area. So just make sure you're staying updated on the latest forecast as we head into the next few days.